welcome back. 10:15 is now the time to tip or not to tip. That is the question. Many customers know the appropriate number for restaurant servers, but outside of dining out, who else should we tip, especially during the holidays and how much should we give? Culture and etiquette expert Sharon Schweitzer joins us now with how we can express our gratitude. Sharon, good morning and thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Well, Sharon, let's talk about this, too, because, I mean, the holidays are coming. We have so many people on our list, but you really have to budget for who you're going to be tipping. So can you talk a little bit about the importance of just setting a budget? Yes. One of the most important things that we need to do is set a budget because those January bills are unforgiving. So you want to prioritize the people who are the most important in terms of loyalty and dedication to you over the year. Is it someone who helped take care of your family, maybe took care of your parents, your children? Maybe you went back to work and you needed someone to help take care of your pet. Those are the people who you want to put at the very top of your list and then decide how much do I have for tipping? How much can I afford to give these people? so that you don't overextend yourself. That's really crucial. Crucial indeed. And when you say that too, who should we tip? Who are the most important people that we should probably put on that list that we didn't know about before? Well, the people that you want to tip are the people who you're permitted to tip. So what you want to do is check, always check the policy. So if you have a personal trainer and you want to tip them or tip someone at the fitness center, check that policy. Make sure you can do that. Sometimes they don't allow that or the trainer considers themselves a professional and they won't accept any additional cash. But what they will accept is maybe some fruit or something healthy, something along those lines, especially at school teachers. Sometimes teachers are concerned that it'll impact a grade and so they don't want it to be seen as something trying to influence them. So that's why a lot of times parents will pool their funds and buy a group gift as a great gracious way to say thank you for everything you've done for our children. So they'll do a pooling. Always check the policy for the organization, the school, the church. Many professors refuse to accept gifts from any of their students. They'll only take a card as a showing of gratitude because they, again, don't want anyone to say we've been unduly influenced. So checking policy is really important. And how about for people we probably see more, more or less every day, like your, um, your mailman, your hairstylists, people of, of that nature. Should they tip, we, a, we tip them as well? Oh, pardon me, yes, the, we do. We have policies for UPS, U.S. Mail Service, FedEx, all the delivery services have policies. So you can check the website. For the post office, they can only accept up to $20 per occasion, and there's a maximum of $50 a year. Um, for Federal Express, they're supposed to decline the offer, but they can accept it, but really, the, the company policy really discourages it. So food and cash are really prohibited by these organizations who do the delivery. They don't want to see that. For, for Uber and for all the other delivery services, you can tip them in cash. A lot of times whenever you're out dining during the holidays, many people consider it very generous to give them extra, maybe 25, 30% during the holidays because it's so busy and you're showing extra gratitude, especially if it's somewhere you regularly go, you see the same servers and you're in there on a regular basis. But again, it's up to you. There are no hard and fast guidelines to how much to tip, what percentage. It's what you're comfortable with as long as you stay within the policies of the organization. And how about your hairstylist, babysitter, housekeeper? Should we include them on the list and should we go cash or cashless? Because we just have a little bit of time left. Most people, even though we're moving toward a cashless society, most people still love cash. They want the cash. So go to your bank and ask for the cleanest Christmas bills you can get. Sometimes the bank doesn't have brand new fresh cash, but they'll give you clean, crisp bills. So if you're going to give them cash, that's the way to do it. Get a bank envelope, put it in a nice card, write a nice note. Your, your hairdresser, 
the folks who, who are your babysitters, they're definitely going to want a tip for the holidays. And if you can give them the equivalent of one service, they're going to be very appreciative. Ooh, very appreciative indeed. Sharon, thank you so much. Some great tips there for the holidays and tipping. Thank you. Appreciate it. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you. You look beautiful and very festive as well this morning. Thanks again for joining us. And for more on Sharon Schweitzer and holiday tipping, go to Fox5Atlanta.com and look for the viewer information story. Time right now, just about 21 minutes.